Inks Dominique, a University of Virginia professor, is working to break down cultural barriers that impact autism services for non-English speaking families. NBC 29's Jacob Phillips is live in the newsroom to show us how this research is making a difference. Jacob? Isabel Michaela Dubay is a speech language pathologist at UVA and says one of the biggest things to understand when assisting a non-English speaking family is the difference between translations and cultural adaptations. Parenting strategies and parenting interaction styles, they're quite different across cultures, right? And so we don't know if those same strategies that are effective in one cultural population are actually effective in another cultural population. Um, Michaela Dubay recently began researching how cultural barriers impact autism services in the U.S. and globally after something she noticed from her time working as a therapist for preschoolers. So I worked with public, uh, public school students, but who were three to five years old. And um, I was working because of their age range, I was working a lot with their families um, and their parents and kind of giving them ways to help support their language growth at home. She realized that even though she spoke Spanish, she could tell parents weren't always understanding. I would give them ideas of something that they could do at home um, that was targeting a specific skill. They would come back the next week and I would ask them how it went and they'd start talking about a different skill or, you know, it just there there seemed to be something that was um, kind of not connecting. Dubay began to wonder how this may affect children with early signs of autism. She says better understanding how different cultures interpret languages will make it easier to provide proper service to families. I don't practice anymore because um, I've switched into the research side of things, but that's the idea is the, the stuff that I'm studying and the work that I'm doing. Um, the goal, the end goal is to figure out how to make those therapy moments work. One of the biggest issues is how autism screenings are translated for non-English speakers, making it difficult to know if a child may actually have autism. Usually when people translate them, they do what's called a forward back translation. So they have one person translate it into the new language. They have a different person translate it back into the first language. But the problem with that is that you usually get a pretty direct translation and a, you don't think about culture at all. And there isn't a definitive answer just yet as to how to combat this issue. There's a lot of different methodologies that you can use, like um, you can have a team of translators instead of just one. You make sure that they're native speakers. You make sure that they sort of represent the culture. Dubay plans to continue her work to find out how to break down cultural barriers and is even part of a development program to provide autism services in Bolivia. Live in the newsroom, Jacob Phillips, NBC 29 News.